luckily took me back yeah. because I was in the pit of hell. I was so I was so addicted to so many th different things, and like the thing is, is is my savior. He came to me and he told me what to do. Okay, I have no 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 doubt about that. And there's there's nobody that can break that yeah. down to me. Yeah. And I recognize from that that it was his voice that saved me. Well, and yeah. I cannot, I yeah. cannot deny that fact because, like, it's not, it's not this church. Yeah. That means nothing. Yeah. I, I, like, that's why I walked yeah. away from it. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm not LDS anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Is because, like, everything that they say is about the church. Mm. It yeah. all leads back to that. Yeah. Yeah. I am yeah. sitting here saying that no, it all leads, it all leads mm. back to him. And if he asks me to do something, and that's what Second Nephi is talking about. Yeah. If he asks me to do something. Yeah. I better sure as hell do it because if not how am i better than anybody else like look at all these people out here in the world you guys are awesome <laughs> like i i really i really believe that because you're actually doing something how many people out there sit there and don't do a damn thing because they say i'm saved because i accepted christ so I'm going to sit back and I'm going to do not a damn thing about it. So, yeah. But I'm saying, if you believe in Christ and you study out that word faith, you see where it comes from. So, so it is being loyal to him and him alone. Okay, so here, here's a text for you. So um, Titus 3 um, says that when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not by works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy. Um, so faith and works are cannot co-mingle when it comes to justification or how someone is declared righteous before God. Um, they, like, like, but how can you show faith if you don't do anything? How can you really show him that you're loyal to him if you don't do anything about it? And that's works, and that's, that's what Christ has always asked of his people. He didn't just sit there and say, well, not dude, okay, so here's father. another example. Christ, the, the man with palsy, is brought in, and, and them, Christ looks down at the man, and he says, go thy way and sin no more. And okay, well, father, then the Pharisees, he perceives God, their thoughts, and, and he God. sees what they're thinking, and so he kind of turns to the Pharisees, and he starts talking to them, and he's, he's going back and forth yeah. with the Pharisees. Yeah. He turns back, and he looks at the man, and he says, I already healed you. Yeah. He says, "You go thy way, pick up your bed, and go thy way, and sin no more." Right? He required of that man a work. He required him to pick up his bed. If that man would have laid there on the bed, would he have been healed? So, um, just to clarify, we're not saying that works don't matter. We're just talking about how someone is declared righteous before God. But so once, someone, and that's and that's what I'm saying. That and that's exactly what Second Nephi is saying. Well, you're second, taking yeah. it. You're taking yeah. it and saying that. It's saying that works is what saves us, okay? And that's and that's what it is saying because you have to. It's like it's like you have to put in something to activate that grace. Like you you have not accepted His grace if you're not willing to do anything. About it. So that's yeah, false gospel. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't want to interrupt. No, no, yeah. But, so I mean, um, but yeah, that, that's not that's not what the scriptures teach. The scriptures teach. It that. is. It is what the scriptures teach well, because the yeah. scriptures well, give, testify. Yeah. Yeah. It testifies that there was more writings to yeah. come. How, how is how is someone? Let me ask you that. How is someone justified before God? How is someone justified before God? We're not. Oh, well, you, so you disagree with Paul? Huh? You disagree with Paul? No. Paul says, therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. He talked okay, to Christians. So, and again, I ask you the same thing. Yeah. I ask him, how do you show faith? So, real, well, let's go one one at a time. So, you don't believe that a person can be justified before God? No, I'm, I'm asking, I'm saying that if you're saying by faith, you're justified By faith God. alone. Okay. That's so, what Paul believes. So, but, I'll give you the verse so you have something to shoot at. Okay. Romans 3.28, Paul says, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified, declared righteous, yeah by faith apart from works of law. So then why so then Paul's Paul's contradicting himself because no. because how's Paul how's Paul even called? Well, I think you're I think um, saying Paul an inspired apostle is contradicting himself. I think 
I, I think, and I don't believe it I, is. I, I think I, it, I'm I think asking it, you the right, question. I, you're I, you're I, telling me. No, I'm, I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm this, just continuing. You guys have, are quoting these single scriptures. No, I'll give you. I'll give you. I can. Me. I can show you the whole chapter in Romans chapter I've three. It, and, I've studied it out. Well, where, where's that from? That verse I quoted to you. Where's that from? What? The, Which um, verse? The, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from works of law. Very good. So Romans 3. In Romans 3, the context you know, you're aware of then, that he gives the indictment of all of humanity, all of sin, all fall short of the glory of God, no fear of God before their eyes, there is no God seeker. And then he says there, in contradiction to you, he says, by the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight, for through the law comes the knowledge of sin. So you disagree with Paul's soteriology there. Okay, well then, then no, I, I'm, I'm not saying that. No, what I'm saying is, if, if you are taking that one verse, okay, and basically... I'm not taking one verse, I'm taking the context. Okay, the but, context and, is universal okay. indictment and sin. But look, the law no, can't justify anybody. Okay, but look, how was Paul called? Well, hold on. Let's let's do one thing at a time. We're that's, in Rome. We're in, where I'm we're in, we're in Rome. We're in Rome by the grace know, of God. But you're talking about Paul. So by how the, is Paul called? By the sovereign will of God. How? By the sovereign will of God. God chose Paul before the foundation of the world. That in and him. What did Christ ask of Paul? After he opened. After he commissioned him. He what commissioned. He, he commissioned him to, to be. He, he commissioned. I think you misunderstand the biblical gospel. We here, here's where your misunderstanding is. No Christian historically has ever believed what you think we believe. That would be. That? It would. It would be heresy. The idea that we can just say we believe in Jesus and do nothing. None of us here believe that. And, and that, that's that's what I'm saying. And you understand I, and historically. That's why, saying, that's why I'm saying I respect the hell out of what yeah, you guys are but doing. Yeah, but I'm saying that I think what you're what but you're going after is is something that Christians don't actually believe. Heretics believe that. And, and that's what I'm saying too. That's where. However, I'm saying, but what you believe is heresy. How is that? Because you believe that that's our, you believe that God's grace is actuated. You said by your works. I'm, I'm right. saying, I am saying, Paul says, Paul says that's anathema. God to asks you to do something. Right. Amen. Obey okay. it. Obey it. Then isn't that faith? It, it is. It is and faith. That's what I'm it is. Him. It is faith in action. But study how? Out, how are you justified? The word faith. How? I, I know. I, I read Greek, sir. I know what the word faith is what does in it Greek. Mean? Pistis. It, it, it talks about. It's a commitment to trust. It's loyalty. It's it's a commitment to trust. Yeah, and which it's at the at the highest form is loyalty. The highest like, form. What do you mean, the highest form? The highest Have, form. Do you, of do you trust read? Do you read Koine? Do you read Koine Greek? Who? Do you read Koine Greek? I've studied. I've studied it out. Yes. Okay. So uh, when you say highest level, I'm not sure what you mean. Highest level. I mean that if if the ultimate trust you yeah. can have is loyalty to Jesus. It's loyal. Oh, amen. We're there, okay. man. Like. So seriously, okay, so but if, if but but how is a person? Loyal, you have how, to do how are you when you, when you and I are you agree with biblical theology that we're lost and sinners, mm -hmm. right? right? So how do I go from a lost sinner to a justified, saved person? And the question is, how does that that gulf get bridged? Paul's theology, Jesus' theology, the Bible's theology is that through faith in Christ, trust in Him, we are credited Christ's righteousness apart from any works. We stand before God with Christ's righteousness as a gift, not our own righteousness. That's I Paul's agree. theology in Philippians 3. I agree, 100%. Well, but you actually said that it's your works that actuate that faith. Like it's Which your, I believe. Yeah, right, no, so then that, that's not what Paul believed. But it is because he showed it by his work. No, no, no. I think you're you're to mixing two things, and I, I'm with you. I see what you're saying, and I actually I'm with you. I'm on board with you in terms of condemnation of people who say they believe, but then nothing happens. That's what James says. That's what Paul says. That's what Jesus said. So we're on the same page. But it's just a question of how do you enter into a relationship of peace with God? Is it through faith and my obedience and then I am right with God because I, I'm righteous enough in some degree? Or is it an empty hand of faith that receives the gift of eternal life and righteousness? That's Paul's theology. Okay. But then why, if God is the same yesterday, today, forever? Yeah. Okay. He calls people like, for instance, let's let's look at Jonas. Okay. Okay. So he calls jo Jonah. 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 Okay. Jo I'm thinking of Nick Jonas. Jonas, Jonas Brothers. Brother. I was just gonna say. <laughs> I was just say. I thought I saw your daughter over there, right? <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, yeah. I know where that comes from. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. No, thank you. Um, so you look you look at Jonah, right? God, yes. God calls Jonah. Yeah. What does Jonah do? He runs away. Right? Yeah, he runs away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He repents. Yeah. And he comes back and he, he does he does his thing. Right. Okay? Right. And he shows his faith, right? Yes. 
Okay, so wouldn't he be saved then? Through, through faith before. I, I, okay, I got it. Sorry, I, let's do it this way because we're talking Old Testament, yeah. right, Jonah, right? Yeah. Best way to do this. If you and I are going to nail something down, we can, we can only really nail it down where Paul does. And that's in the Old Testament. And that's on a single figure before Jonah. And it's Abraham. Okay. And what he says is this, Old Testament, this before Jesus came to the earth, we have to agree with Paul here or we don't. That's all there is to it. Because Paul centers his whole view of justification on if you're going to be a descendant of Abraham and an heir of the promise of eternal life, you've got to have the same faith of Abraham. And what he says is this, Genesis 15, 6, Abraham believed God. It was credited to him. You know this. It was credited to him as righteousness. And Paul asked the question. This is the whole thing right here, dude. It settles it right now. He says, um, how was it credited to him? He says, ultimately, before circumcision or after? And the answer is before. Like 20 years, like, no, not 20 years. But like, it, was, it was before circumcision and about 20 years before Isaac and the altar and about 400 years before the law. So Paul says this, if you're going to be an heir, of Abraham, you got to have his faith. It was before he did any work, any circumcision, any obedience with Isaac, any law. So here's the thing. Abraham's faith was pure, empty hand, not a thing. And he says all of God's children ultimately have to have that faith apart from any work. And that's right. So here's all I'm encouraging you with. Did you, were you in Mormonism before? Yeah. yeah okay. I love the church. <laughs> this is all I want, to, I want you to hear. Number one, we want you to know the true Christ. And I see you're passionately committed to knowing that. He's not Lucifer's brother, he's God himself. But the other thing is this, they taught you for years that, that it is faith plus your works that ultimately earn salvation. And, and see, and that's the thing is, is like, I've thrown, I've thrown away. Yeah, I can see every, that. Everything I can, that they taught me. I, can I, see I was telling him, I, I firmly believe in the Book of Mormon because of like- Oh, you still of, believe in the Book of Mormon? I do. Oh, I, I, didn't, still, I didn't catch I still that, okay. Believe in, I still believe in Joseph Smith. You Dude, do. I do. But here's the thing. I was telling him, and you guys you guys are welcome to research this on, on your own. Mm -hmm. Look in, look into Joseph's murder. Look at who really Oh, I know. Him. They they murdered him. Yeah. He was murdered. And well by who? What like in the town that day? Like who was involved? It was it was his brother and what was it? Okay. It, it was, I I I I haven't looked, researched that. It. I know what and, happened that day. Yeah, and it, it it's people I are coming, we're gonna get swamped here in yeah, a second. Anyway, I, I, well, let's, I can, appreciate can we, can the hell we, out of you. Can we do this? Do you live locally? I don't. We're you actually don't. from Utah. Well, We're just down here do, for the Do this. I'm Jeff. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I, I really care about you. You seem like a great guy. That's a way to get a hold of me. I got And we can just chat through this email. Right. Yeah. Just okay, chat, cool. chat through email, chat. We can talk, whatever. Yeah, just, sure. just have an extended friendship and conversation. Yeah, for sure. Okay? And I, I really do. I, I respect oh the hell out of you well, guys because, like, I mean, honestly, you guys are actually doing something. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate I appreciate the love. No and what problem. was your name again? Mandon. Ma Mandon? Yep. That's an awesome yep. name. Yep. All right, man. God bless you. you guys. Hey, and what was your name? Too, nice to meet you. Oh, no, no, All right. David. Hey, David. All right, guys. God bless you. Hey, thank you. God bless you. <laughs>